एक और धरती पकड़ इंसान को बुला रहा हूँ जो इस झारखंड की मिट्टी से जुड़े हुए हैं आई में रह के गाँव गाँव में इन्होंने आई में जो जो मैम अभी कह रही थी उसका अनुभव इन्होंने खुद देखा है विमल कीर्ति सिंह अब वो एक एडवोकेट हैं सुप्रीम कोर्ट में वो वोट ऑफ थैंक्स देंगे हर एक्सेलेंसी गवर्नर ऑफ झारखंड द्रौपदी मुर्मू जी मोस्ट रिस्पेक्टेड ऑनरेबल चीफ जस्टिस श्री वीरेंद्र सिंह जी माय लॉर्ड्स ऑफ झारखंड हाई कोर्ट डिस्ट्रिक्ट जजेस अदर जुडिशियल ऑफिसर्स माय इस्टीम्ड कलीग्स एंड मेंबर्स ऑफ द बार इंद्रजीत भादवार जी प्रदीप राय जी पारिक साहब रजिस्ट्रार डेली नेशनल लॉ यूनिवर्सिटी वाजपेयी जी राजेश्वरी जी विनय जी रविंदर राय जी हमारे बीच सांसद हैं बिफोर आई कम डाउन टू द टास्क ऑफ गिविंग द फॉर्मल थैंक्स आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शेयर टू व्यूज टू थाट्स विथ यू इन अ वेरी वेरी ब्रीफ मैनर बिकॉज वी आई रियलाइज दैट वी आर ऑलरेडी रनिंग लेट द फर्स्ट थाट विच कम्स टू वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट एक्सेस टू जस्टिस एंड द वेरियस डिलेज the judicial system the lack of judges the conduct of the bar these things comes they come subsequently you there is a uh, saying in latin ubi jus ibi remedium where there is a right there is a remedy i realize i'll narrate a very small incident we were traveling in the second class compartment from delhi to from patna to delhi and people who were to travel to ara were they're not leaving the seats which was meant for the reserved passengers lot of constables came but they were interested in just looking at below the seats whether there is some bag big bag of wheat or rice is going so that they can charge some money from the passengers and one strong built 6 feet tall rpf jawan came and he saw all this commotion going on over there and he said ki all those people who do not have a reserved seat kindly leave only those people will stay who have a reserved category seat and immediately within a minute or two there was to, that commotion was gone and everybody who had a seat and who had a right i'm talking about the right right and remedy who had a right got their rightful seat the chance of going to the railway authorities the time to go to the some judicial forum would come subsequently if any person i'm just saying if any person has some right there are authorities to see that his right is protected much before he goes to the court to elaborate i would say if the revenue records are kept properly the revenue cases relating the civil cases regard disputes regard, regarding property would be lessened by huge number we know what is happening in karnataka each and every land record is computerized so the moment he puts a click on the computer he exactly knows which land belongs to whom and who has paid the rent in the last year so the chances of the dispute would be much less where compared to a state whether you go into the details of that khata that khata which that karmachari takes with him the dclr is taking him it will take ages to find out even for the collector i was collector for 9 years in four districts two of them uh, fall in jharkhand i was collector of bukaro and palamu it takes even the collector huge amount of effort and time just to realize who the real owner of this land is so there has to be a lot of effort to streamline the administration to give deliver justice to people much before they go to the court the same thing i think is applicable even for the criminal administration of justice if i have a right to a free uh, and dignified existence to travel in the roads of ranchi without fear of somebody you know eve teasing the my daughter or sister traveling with me or my money is safe and the police is doing its duty the chances of the person go, having to go and lodge an fir in the thana and then the thana going through a 2 3 years of lengthy process of writing the case diary and in the investigation report and then finally going to a court and trying to get to justice would be reduced so the the scope of the government machinery comes much before the actual issue is being decided by the courts so we have to streamline everything if we are talking about the real access to justice having said shared this thought one another thought which came by the, uh, the thought uh, mr parik said 
Ki now there is, we call, I have recently joined the profession, we call this a, a category of five-star lawyers. Their fees ranges from 40 lakhs to 50 lakhs to even 80 lakhs per appearance. This is a huge problem because the people who have a lot of money can afford to get them as their lawyers and sometimes they are pitted against the people who do not have that kind of money. Who do not have that kind of money and then the battle becomes very unequal. Here my suggestion is, two suggestions, that even the honorable courts when faced with the five-star lawyers and a lawyer probably who is not very well known and his face has no face value, should be given some kind of equal, equitable time to put his case. In fact, some of the countries have a rule that any lawyer, irrespective of your standing in the profession, you will be granted 20 minutes. After 20 minutes in some of the courts in the US, some of the states in the US, after 20 minutes, the mic is automatically switched off and your time for verbal submissions is over, whoever you may be. So these are suggestions for some systemic change which should come before we can actually try to bring in by personal efforts of more speedy justice. Uh, I, I uh, would like to be excused for my indulgence. Vote of thanks is not for this, but I, these two thoughts were in my mind and I thought this is a very august forum where I can share all this. Your Lordship, <clears throat> first of all, I would thank Her Excellency Draupadi Murmu ji aur unhone bahut acche tarike se kaha ki main us samajik parivesh se aati hu jahan jo pichde log hain unhone sabd use kiya poorest of the poor jo antyodaya shreni ke log hain jinke paas bilkul paise nahi hain unki kya dukh hai unke kya takleef hain usko main samajhti hu aur kaise wo log darte hain kabhi bhi thana jane mein kaise wo log darte hain kisi doctor khana ke yahan jane mein कैसे वो लोग डरते हैं कोर्ट में जाने से अगर हम रियल एक्सेस ऑफ जस्टिस की बात करेंगे तो हमको इन तीनों जो बातों से लोग डरते हैं जाने में उस स्थिति में परिवर्तन करनी होगी और हमको ये सोचना होगा कि ये परिवर्तन कैसे आएगा हर एक्सीलेंसी वी आर एक्सट्रीमली ग्रेटफुल फॉर यू टू गिविंग अस टाइम टू द इंडिया लीगल रिसर्च फाउंडेशन एंड इंडिया लीगल ग्रुप फॉर हैविंग अग्रीड टू कम हेयर एंड गिव योर इनग्रल एड्रेस we really thank you from our heart. Honorable, Honorable Chief Justice, I have seen you in the court, Your Lordship, and I have seen how your heart beats whenever there is a question where poor are involved, especially on the PIL days we see how a lot of effort and thought and strain is taken by Honorable Chief Justice to ameliorate the conditions of the poor people. And it is apparent, it is not I am saying something in your presence, you can ask any person from the bar, his heart beats for the poor people. And that makes access to justice much easily available if this is the kind of thought process at the top of the judicial hierarchy. Your Lordship, thank you for coming and blessing us here. <laughs> I thank Parikh ji. He is a, such a seasoned and senior advocate of Supreme Court for having come from Delhi and addressed us and blessed us. And everybody who has been here to make this whole program a great success because of paucity of time, I'm not able to thank each one of you ever, uh, here separately, but the entire team of uh, India Legal, everybody who has worked, the cameramen, the technicians, people, you don't see the face, but they have lot of, put in a lot of effort to make this event success, and my esteemed guests, my members of the press, friends from the press, this is a very, very heartfelt thanks to all of you from APN and India Legal family. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much, Vimal. I'm calling you by your first name only because now you have joined the fraternity of journalists and, and this show is being telecast all over India through, through APN.